Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Miko RC. I hope everybody's well. Uh, today we're going to unbox and have an overview of the um, SST Racing 1937 Pro. Um, it's a one tenth scale buggy. Um, there's nothing on the box, this is the actual box. Um, there's no actual retail packaging. I don't know why, um, but that's just how it came. It was sent to me from Banggood. Yeah, there's no there's no labeling or anything on the box, but um, which is a bit weird, but it looks like it's come in one piece and nothing looks broken. Um, so let's have a look at the, uh, the first item that's in the box. You've got a B3 charger. These chargers, uh, they're okay, they're a bit slow, um, but you're better off using a uh, professional charger to charge up your batteries so they're quicker. So you can charge uh, 2S and 3S batteries on this. And then you've got the Flysky 3 channel. Or two channel remote. There you go. Pretty cool. It's the FS GT 2E. Okay. Feels pretty good on the hand. Nice rubber on the wheel. Power switch, steering trim, throttle trim, and steering dual rates. On here, you got your throttle reverse and the steering reverse. There's a bind button there. There's a couple of LEDs there. And uh, yeah, it takes uh, four AA batteries. Okay, so we've got the uh, instruction manual. One tenth scale, four wheel drive, off road buggy. It's got an older style remote here in this, uh, in this manual. It's probably been printed a few years back. Actually, I haven't seen many videos of this in YouTube. Um, the latest one is about three or four years old, um, somewhere up to five years. So it's a fairly old car, um, but it's got an updated transmitter at least. So a pretty straightforward manual, all your parts. Uh, what's the exploded diagrams? Yeah, there we go. So there's the Truggy. It's a very nice looking Truggy. I like this, the scheme. Of this the black and red color scheme looks really nice all right so there we have it out of the box <laughs> this looks really nice this car all right guys so let's just start at the front of the vehicle um, well actually the wheels, they're, they're nice and soft, nice rubber compound, they're foam field tyres with a uh, five spoke design on the rims, um, nice black rims, they're like 52 millimeters width and um, diameter of these wheels are 110 millimeters. Got a nice tough plastic bumper here at the front. Um, Bit of plastic here, bit of plastic shell, uh, a nice thick metal four millimeter um, shock towers, adjustable points for the shocks, um, plastic shocks, but they're oil filled with metal caps and metal ring for adjustments. Um, we've got multiple positions for the uh, the lower part of the shock. Um, we've got a double wishbone suspension. On front and the back um, actually that's quite really nice that's probably pretty thick the uh, the shock oil um, the top deck of these arms plastic as well as the lower deck um, connected to the C plastic C hubs with the ball with the ball joint you can adjust your, your camber and your toe here Um, we've got CVDs at the front, um, they're four millimeters thick, and there's a, a nice view of on the side, and over to the back. Got a, again, another um, hardened uh, rear bumper, and you've got your well, it's interesting. You've got the toe adjustments here at the back of the car. Um, 
and again four millimeter thick um, dog bones on the back and the same ball joints here at the back making your sea hubs to your to your arms uh, the shock tower again is also four millimeters thick at the back and exactly the same shocks at the back as well all right so good looking this one and underneath uh, all metal chassis I think it's two two point five or three millimeters thick might be two point five okay everything secured with uh, hex nuts sorry hex screws um and uh yeah there's a bit of a vent here for the for the motor all right well let's have a look underneath the shell okay so just before we take the shell off i think i'll just mention that um the shell seems a bit tight over here so i might have to trim a little bit here and here um, because when i push the, the car down you can hear the shell rubbing a bit against here so I mean there's no big deal really um, but yeah I'll take I'll trim that uh, eventually so let's take the shell off and this shell feels pretty thick um, it's it is nice and flexible um, but hopefully it's not too brittle but it does feel quite thick and uh, strong so it's not like your cheaper um, WLs or single home cars um, but yeah that's quite a bonus it's a strong shell and first up here we have a servo which couldn't find the spec of this servo I think it might be 3 kg or 7 kg I, I don't know what the rating is um, but it's a full size servo got a uh, adjustable link here attached to the horn uh, you've got a, a metal steering rod right there um, Servo saver, uh, your battery pack and a battery bay. Um, looks like you can fit quite a thick battery in here. Probably a five a milliamp hour uh, 2S or a four milliamp. What am I saying? Five thousand milliamp hour 2S battery or a, a four thousand milliamp hour 3S battery. The one that comes in here is a. Well, actually, I'm not sure. I think it's a 3,600 milliamp hour battery 2S. Doesn't say anywhere on the on the box, but um, just going off what the Banggood website says. Um, so you got a, you can see here you got a not pretty pretty thick bay for a good sized battery, and you've got these awesome Velcro straps which are which are preferable over um, the or well, anything else really. Um, we've got a cover here waterproof cover or a splash proof cover for the radio um, size to um, logo on top and let's open this up okay we've got the fly sky the fly sky receiver um, it's a four channel actually it might be just a three channel well it's got four sets of pins so it might be a four channel um, and what do we have here? We've got a center diff. Nice. So we've got a center center diff um, three three diff system on this car, which is which is great. Um, better stability and uh, overall performance handling of the car. Um, four millimeter dog bone here connecting the drive shaft. Sorry, connecting the center diff to the rear diff or the rear gearbox, and probably another one under here for the front. Can't really get a shot of it, but um, yeah, having a center diff is, is is quite a bonus on this car, especially for the low price. Um, and you got this nice um, yeah, this is secured here by this nice plastic. Um, you've got a center brace here well part of a center brace um oh, i'll call it a bracket looks nice and strong hopefully that uh keeps it keeps the chassis straight or helps keep it straight um we've got a 3650 
brushless motor, or 3652 it says here. It's uh, 3421 kV rating, or 3400 kV. Um, got this nice uh, Cosmo black finish on this uh, metal um, motor mount. It's adjustable as you can see, and apparently we have uh, Mod 10 gearing on this on this car. So you should be able to easily buy some uh, or replace the uh, pinion or or the spur with the uh, with the uh, freely available Mod 10 gears on the market. Um, we've got a 45 amp ESC. Looks like it's a it is a Hobby Wing OEM. Um, WP10BL50 RTR um, and uh, yeah and your, your power switch with the program button there so hopefully this combination gives you a decent speed out of the box um, the add-on Banggood says it runs between 60 and 80 max speed out of the box I don't know if that means running on 2s uh, probably means 3s and or whether or not it actually gets that speed would you know we'd have to find out all right um well that's pretty much it guys um all round it's a great looking vehicle i love the hardware on this i like the specs um i like the setup of the of the suspension it's nice and soft and yeah it's looks like it's set up pretty well uh, right out of the box um, and uh, yeah what else can I say it's it's a great looking buggy um, it's cheap it's only around I think the normal price is it might actually be um, just, uh, just over $300 US um, but at the moment Banggood have got a uh, flash sale on this car and it brought it down to like 280 260 to $280 US um, and if you use the coupon code in my description, uh, plug that coupon in the check in the checkout, and you'll get another thirty dollars US off. Um, I tested the code, and it actually had, well, actually without the code, with or without the code, it actually had free shipping. So it depends on where you are, um, but I got the price down to like two hundred and twenty to two hundred and thirty dollars US, including shipping. So that's a really good price for this one tenth scale buggy. Um, Really good hardware on this. Uh, I really can't wait to get this out on the road, out on the on the um, on the BMX track, um, off road. I really think this car is going to perform well. So I'm pretty surprised that there aren't many reviews um, on this car on YouTube. Not that I could find, um, and not any that are actually recent. Um, they're, they're fairly old uh, videos, like four to five years old. Um, so this car's been out for a while. Um, but obviously the radio has been updated and uh, maybe the ESC and the uh, motor um, They've got a better combination in them um, But time will tell um, hopefully we'll find out in the next video Please subscribe so you don't miss out on my next video um, Also click the notification bell so you get a notification when that comes out and um, Yeah, I'll see you in the in the first run of this car. It's the SST 1937 Pro one tenth scale buggy. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, take care of yourselves. See you next time. Bye for now.